So if you can't tell by the intro, today we're gonna be working on some white tile. So I get my white tile from Home Depot. You can probably get them from Lowe's. These are a little bit larger than four inch by four inch. Um, they're about 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters, right around there. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these tiles, we're gonna clean them off with some lacquer thinner, and then we're gonna put a couple of coats of paint. Uh, today we're going to be using Rust-Oleum 2X Heirloom White. So, we're gonna paint those, we're gonna let them dry, and then we're gonna do some photos on our tiles. So, the nice thing about these is that once you do that, it is permanent, it's on there, it's not gonna come off. Um, these are awesome, they make good coasters. Uh, you can put them on your countertop and set boiling pans on them to protect your countertop. Um, so it's a fun, neat way to have some pictures of some family or your pet or whatever laying around, and they're actually still useful at the same time. So you don't have to just set them up and display them on a, you know, a shelf or something. So the only thing that I want to talk to you guys about before we get started is I have had some issues with the heirloom white. Now there's a couple of things that you can get to, in order to achieve this process. One, you can spend like 80 something dollars, you know, with shipping and get a little can of Enduramark charcoal glass. You know, that works great, okay? Um, but I'm gonna show you guys a finished product, product using that at the end of the video. Um, smoky beige also works and the heirloom white. So the smoky beige and the heirloom white, the problem I am seeing, number one, I have a hard time finding smoky beige. It's not always in stock when I go to Home Depot. Um, Walmart has a lot of Rust-Oleum products, but I can't always find it there either. Heirloom white, I can get pretty much anywhere, anytime. Now, the problem I have with the heirloom white is, and this is like my 10th can. Every single can of this that I have got, um, when you're spraying your tiles, and I don't know why it does this for some reason, but you can be spraying, it's coming out nice and neat, and the next thing you know, it just starts sputtering and it puts chunks all over your tile, so you can see that. It gets real chunky. So, and I shake my cans, I prep them really well. So, I mean, shake, shake, shake. And, and sometimes it, it works great, sometimes it doesn't. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'll take this, uh, I'll put some lacquer thinner on it, I'll clean it off, and we'll try and coat it again down the road. So no big deal, they're reusable, so that's a nice thing about the tiles. So with that, let's go ahead and head outside and we're gonna get a couple of tiles painted, we're gonna come back in and we're gonna burn a picture on one and we're gonna see how it looks. Let's get to work. Okay, so we have light burn open up. I've got my image pulled in. So this is the image that I'm gonna reburn this one today is what's gonna happen. So the original uh, tile that I did has a light spot right up here. And on this face down here, there's a couple of lines that I didn't like. So what I'm gonna do, I, I've already taken the photo. I've gone into Imager and I've made my adjustments. 
so again here the light spot was right up here in this area and the lines were going down the face right here so i'm just going to do another one and make sure that you know it, it, it was just the first time i didn't have the adjustments right so i just want it to look much better than what it did so with that all i'm going to do i've already got my settings i've done my speed power test uh, so my power is going to be 60% power at 41.7 millimeters a second. Okay. So all we're going to do from here is I'm going to take this and I am going to select my X tool. I'm going to flip that back over. And now all I'm going to do is we're going to frame this. And we're going to burn it. There you go again. Looking so handsome. Oh, you have your way. And it's making me weaken. You and your status. Walking like that. It's really getting too much. But I can't pull back. Though I try to resist. Can't fight this And no one Makes me feel like you do Pulling me closer Oh, I gotta stay away But you won't let me So here's one of the tiles I did a while back. And you can see up here, it, it's kind of light. And I got some lines in, in this face here, if you, if you can see them, like right along here. So I didn't like how that one turned out. So I went back in the imager, messed with my settings on the photo again. And then this is the one that we just now burnt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we are going to take, um, our lacquer thinner and a rag. We're gonna clean this off and see how it looks. And hopefully this one turned out. Old t-shirt, lacquer thinner. And we'll take that.
flip that over. so far I think this is turning out much better you get a clean spot on the shirt a little bit more lacquer thinner and yeah I'm liking that one that one turned out much better no light spot up here which was my whole issue with this one is, is this little light spot so side by side this one did turn out much better i don't have the lines in the face right here nice crisp image so that right there i mean like i said that's that's the heirloom white by rust-oleum 2x so now what i want to show you guys i talked to you a little bit at the beginning of the video about the enduramark charcoal glass so the stuff is really expensive, okay? So this is one that I did with the Enduramark charcoal glass, all right? Now the difference between the two, I mean, if you're just gonna set it on a shelf, I mean, just for looks, great. But if you intend on using this, the, the, the heirloom white and the smoky beige, when you use that, leaves a nice smooth surface, okay? Now, the Enduramark leaves a very rough surface. So just so you guys can see, I can take this that I did with the heirloom white and I can take a paper towel and I can really dig in there and rub on that and it doesn't really do anything to the paper towel. Just as an ex, you know, as an example. So now I'm going to take this one that I did with the Enduramark, and it's much rougher. And I can rub on that, and see it tears that paper towel up. Okay, so definitely rougher with the Enduramark, even though it looks good, nice and smooth with the heirloom white. So, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, this stuff's really expensive. It gives some pretty good detail, but I don't think the, the extra detail you're getting out of it is, is worth $80 as opposed to six bucks for a can of heirloom white. <laughs> Paper towel floating all around now. So anyway, so yeah, this is super easy. This took about, not that one. This took 50 minutes, right about 50 minutes. Um, you know, once you guys do your, your test grid and then you got your speed and your power, go in, adjust your photo with imager and then figure out what setting is going to work for you. Um, but yeah, that was, I think uh, it was about 40% power at 60 millimeters a second. So right at 50 minutes for that image, it's, I got, I'm using a 10 watt. So, I mean, that's not too bad to get a nice image like that. So anyway, guys. I wanted to let you guys know, uh, on a side note, that I have started, uh, I did a couple of videos on cleaning your laser and, you know, and then changing your laser protective lens cover, the glass in there. I did a couple of videos on that and I mentioned a guy by the name of Mike who I was getting all my lenses from. Well, Mike was a retired guy and now he has retired again, this time from selling lenses. So he gave the company to somebody, but I can't get a hold of that person. I have no contact information for him whatsoever. So I have now started selling lens kits. You can find them on my Etsy page. You get four lenses plus a tool for 25 bucks, free shipping. The link will be down below. Um, guys, thank you for sticking around. Please make sure that you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button in the corner, and we'll see you in the next video.